I was expecting an introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Hati. I work at Zappi Store. Um, my talk is slightly different. I don't have any slides. Um, but mine is basically um, sharing my experience um, joining a new company. So my talk is on culture shift with a focus on the imposter syndrome. So the company, basically my background is I have a computer science degree background. I ended up moving into a bit of digital forensics and from digital forensics, I then got more interested in architectures, specifically like service-oriented architectures. Um, so my main talk now is basically in short, um, moving from a corporate to uh, more or less a, a startup. So the company I used to work for, it had over 20,000 people, and moving to a company where there's 140 people. Um, we just used to work with proprietary tools, now moving to open source. Um, our deployments were once every six months. Um, moving into a space where you saw people deploying like 20 times a day. Um, so basically how it went with the deploy is you would spend the whole day writing your release plan, uh, scheduling it, saying like I'm gonna be using this DBA, I'm gonna be using this sysadmin, all that stuff. To a state where you literally just, now where you just type in a command and everything is, is, is out there. So that really terrified me. Um, coming from my side, I'm seeing like, shit, th these guys have just deployed like 12 times in, in the past hour. Um, but now the thing is, with, with, with such a big change um, and you're working with people who are very, very smart, you start to feel out of place. You, you can't even open your mouth. It's like, shit, if I say anything, uh, it will sound extremely dumb. Um, so you tend to hold back. So my solution to probably anyone who might face that particular problem with the imposter syndrome, um, you are smart enough, you're working with the smart people because probably the person who hired you also hired the same smart people. So for you, I'll say it's all right not to know. That's the first thing. Um, secondly, it's always good to pick up who knows something. So when you're stuck, you ask that person. Yeah. Um, the other thing is try to talk too much, try to talk a lot to your team teammates. Because um, the most challenging thing, I, one of the most challenging things I faced was um, when I had my first pull request at the new company. From the previous company, there wasn't, we didn't do this pull request stuff and peer reviews and, and all that stuff. You, you do your stuff um, and you just hope it works. Like I still remember on my last project, <laughs> like on my last project, um, it was a six month, obviously, project. Um, and now it was release day. You don't know the state of production, but your stuff has been working in UAT and you had your QA sign off that stuff. So, because I wasn't so sure how it was going to be, so we wrote, um, we went in and then the night when I was like, oh, the Windows service guys were busy doing the deploys. And this guy gives me a call, he's like, dude, that's, that stuff of yours is not working. And then I started thinking, oh shit, am I, going to have to talk to the project manager and tell him, like, uh, we have to roll back the, the deployment. So what did we do? I quickly wrote something, like literally in 15, 20 minutes. And I kept on telling him, like, just wait, just wait, just wait. Cowboy thing, phew, it was in. And then I told my teammate, like, don't tell the manager that this thing went in. We'll go in after two weeks with a fix, the permanent thing. <laughs> So now, now working in an organization where you had pull requests, I, my first one, it, it, it was like an essay, like uh, some of the comments, like you'd, you'd spend like 10, 15 minutes. It's like, hey, this guy is really killing me. Because I, I was working with .NET and now I was moving into Rails. Yeah, trust me, it was, it was a pain. So the other thing 
um, I learned is try to understand your strengths. Um, in understanding your strengths, you'll be able to know where you can contribute uh, to your team. Um, the nice thing with, the team, with my team, I managed to pick up that um, we actually enjoy different things in the team. And the balance that you have in the team is if you're given something, you'll always have someone who raises their hand to do something because that person enjoys it. I, I, I enjoy documenting stuff. I enjoy planning out stuff. And I might do a lot of paperwork. And some guys actually just quickly enjoy, like, <sighs> quickly jump in, jump in. Like, I work with um, Adrian. Um, I know with Adrian, you, 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 you basically push in your pull requests. Make sure you have your stuff in check, because in under 20 seconds, you, you have your first comment. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the other thing is go out there, um, go to talks. Um, because the talks actually help a lot to weigh up where you are, what are the gaps in your knowledge, what do you need to learn, that, that kind of thing. Um, what I picked up is uh, the more you go, the more you realize that, you, oh, actually you know a lot. And I would also advise a couple of people to actually probably start like, reading um, a number of books because um, I, I read a lot of books, like a, a, a ton load of books. And it was quite nice, like, I, I think there was one talk um, I was in yesterday with the microservices stuff. And it, it was quite nice, like, when I was, like, when I had people giving out comments, like, ah, this is how we do it, this is how we do it. In my head, I was like, there's a book that has almost all of these things. Um, then I was just thinking of this book, Building Microservices by Sam Newman. And I was just thinking, like, why, why don't people read this stuff? They can, it can help them out. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 it's already at that time that you realize that people work and solve problems in different ways and they take different approaches in life. And you understanding where you fit in in the whole ecosystem can actually help you to contribute. So that's, that's me. So.